hometown crowd. How did that whole experience feel? Man, I felt it amazing, you know, but it's just like another day. Like I said, well, it's what we do. You know, it's just another elite sparring day and I was honored to be here. Thank you, Beltar, for having me. It's a pretty exciting fight. And um, talk to me about when you went to the judges' scorecards. Did you feel confident that you had done enough? Like when you started hearing that split, what was going through your mind? Yeah, I was kind of surprised, um, but I, I was definitely confident I won the fight. Uh, pushed the pace. I def definitely landed a lot more bombs on him. Um, I actually hurt my hand in the first exchange, broke my hand, and so I kind of was open hand and slapping him for a minute in, in the cage, and, but I knew I had it in the bag for sure. And I guess, what, what do you think your future is here with Bellator? Uh, you know, you, you're hoping to have you back for another one? Yeah, I'm hoping to have me back for a lot more. I'd love to go for that title eventually. Uh, obviously, I'm new and I'm here to work my way up, but obviously I'm game and I'm down to scrap, so please have me on. I'd love to be here. Fighting a guy like Nick in Connecticut is no easy feat. You went in there and did it. You seem very comfortable with it. What was that like sort of being in enemy territory like that tonight? Um, you know what? I thought it would be worse than it was, but Connecticut is awesome, man. Everyone here is super friendly. Like we were just walking around and people were just super friendly. And obviously it's his crowd, but they were still awesome and, and welcoming. So I, I really appreciate that. Thank you, Connecticut. Thank you, Nick Neal. That was Nick's first fight since October 2019. I know it's kind of hard to prepare for certain fighters individually, especially when there's a pandemic going on and everything, and he hasn't, has been out for so long. Was that the fight you expected? Did you expect it to be a, a lot of exchanges on the feet the, the way that it was? I know he tried to get some takedowns, but there were a lot of heavy exchanges on the feet between you two guys. Yeah, for sure. I knew he'd had a hard, hard time taking me down, so I, I expected uh, a good scrap with Nick. I knew he'd throw his bombs. Um, and I know he's a game opponent. I've seen him fight Gaethje. I've seen him fight, fight a bunch of guys. And so he's no walk in the park for sure. Um, so yeah, like I said, I was super honored to be in the cage with Nick, man. He's a stud. Thank you again, Nick. All right, we'll take one or two more here from the media joining us virtually tonight. Go ahead, Ronald. This is Ronald E. Smith. Bobby, Bobby just one question for you. You know, it was a, a, a very hard fight, but also too, since you got the victory, did everything go according to plan through training? Like, did anything surprise you during the whole fight against Nick? No, nothing surprised me. Um, one thing that Sensei Dwayne told me a long time ago, uh, I lost the fight a while back and he just said, mind your own business, you know what I mean? Don't worry about what they're gonna do. Go out there and do what we do. And he, you know, I relayed that message again tonight and that's exactly what we did. I listened to my corners, I trust my corners, I trust my team and you know, just do what we do. So this is what we do, we fight. It's been a long road for you to get here. How proud are you that you made the bell tour? Say that again, sir. I say it's been a long road for you to get to Bellator. How proud are you of this moment? Man, I am so proud. I am beyond proud. You guys have no idea how hard I've been. Uh, you guys don't know me, but I've been doing this for a very long time, and I got the right people behind me, and people trust me and believe in me, and I, I won't let them down, man. I'll show up every day, and I put my heart out every single time. All right. Thanks for the time, Bobby. Congrats on the win. Thank you very much.